Evening Jack, it's Saturday the 10th of January. Thank you very much for the video. There's a lot of stuff to look forward to. Although I can't help but feel like there's something that you've missed, but I can't think what. A little while ago, Jack, you may remember that there was some, uh, there was a petition to get Natalie Bennett, the UK Green Party leader, involved in the debates ahead of the general election. There's been a development there now that um, David Cameron apparently is refusing to take part in these debates if Natalie Bennett isn't a part of them. Now, I wouldn't like to cast aspersions about what his motives might be for that, but I think it's great news that five parties will be involved in those debates, if it turns out they are involved. Next, I want to talk about something that Lucille Claire um, quite nicely summarised in this illustration. And Jack, I know you saw the news about the, um, the shootings in Paris and the siege that happened there, and I know you saw the huge um, support that followed, but I thought it was worth mentioning anyway. After the initial shooting, thousands of people turned out all over the world, in Paris, in London, elsewhere in the world, to show their support for the victims of the Charlie Hebdo situation and to protect the right of freedom to speech. Jack, you may not have seen that the way that they did this was by holding their pens in the air. So literally thousands of people standing in Trafalgar Square or in uh, Place de la République, maybe, um, holding pens up, I think, is a great sign. Also, the support from the online community was incredible. Those that couldn't turn out personally used the Je suis Charlie hashtag to make it one of the most popular trends of all time. So that amount of support is just incredible. Now, Jack, you might not know this, I don't consider myself to be a terrorist. Um, others may do, maybe. Um, but I'm pretty sure that, by definition, terrorists exist to spread terror. And although there's been a tragic loss of innocent lives in the last few days, they haven't succeeded in spreading terror. Thousands of people coming together to stand in solidarity, I think, shows that these people have refused to bow to terror, and it's purely positive. One thing you may not know, Jack, is that this isn't the first time that Charlie Hebdo has been attacked. They were attacked back in 2011, petrol bombing. After that attack in 2011, Charlie Hebdo published this edition. The headline reads, La mort est plus fort que la haine, I think, which translates to love is stronger than hate. And I think four or five years later, or three or four, that they've proved that. All oh, right, that's it. So the thing that you forgot um, in your what's to look forward to in 2015 was maybe your wedding. So while love may not make the world go round, Jack, it's pretty damn great. And I think it's a lot stronger than hate. Keep believing that, Jack. I'll see you on Wednesday.